Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I am back today to film a haul, but not just any haul. Today's video is, drum roll please, very excited about this, a Temu haul. My actual first Temu haul and I am too excited. I actually found out about this company through my cousin Melissa. She has a YouTube channel here, The Cheap Chick. I will link it in the description below. She is the queen of Temu slash queen of unboxings. If you want more Temu action and more Temu content, highly recommend checking out her content and checking out her channel. Although I'm pretty sure if you are here for this video, you already know who she is because she has truly turned pretty much everybody onto Temu. And I am just so, so excited for this video. Today's video is actually in collaboration with Temu. They are offering 30% off for new users. It is a free website to use. You pretty much just add everything to your cart. And then when you sign out, there's a code in the link in the description for you to save 30% off on their already extremely low prices. You can pretty much find any and everything on Temu as you will see in today's haul. It is a very random one, but I'm so excited to share everything that I received. So again, if you guys are interested in checking out Temu, check out the description. There's a code in the link for you to save 30% off if you are a new user. So with all of that being said, let's just get right on into the haul. I honestly don't even know where to begin. All of these items are just sprawled out over my bedroom floor right now, but I feel like if I had to start with any item, it would probably be these little slippers right here. These are the slippers that I first put into my cart, the very first item that I put into my Temu cart, and <laughs> they're so cute. Like, are these not the most precious little slippers you've ever seen in your entire life. Let me give you a little close up look. It has a nice protective bottom, but then the top part where the little moo cow is, it's like that waffle knit material. Also, fun fact, I dropped the camera that I typically use to film with onto the floor the other day and watched it shatter into like 100 million pieces and my heart kind of shattered a little bit as well. So I'm using a new camera right now. So if I am out of frame and out of focus, I greatly apologize. I'm trying to learn and navigate this new camera but I think I think it's working pretty well so far I mean so cute like there's no other word or adjective to describe these slippers besides they're just so cute I want to pinch them so item number one these cute little moo cow slippers cannot wait to start to wear these the next item can never have enough water bottles this water bottle is not only a aesthetically pleasing but it is also very functional it is one of those water bottles that tells you like how much you should be drinking by what time so it has your time frame over here and then it just allows you to aesthetically drink more water I love how it's like a little ombre color and then it has the gold cap on top so this is a close-up of what it looks like isn't it so cute? So on the bottom of each section, it tells you to refill. So you go from full to refill up to 12 p.m. And then the back is full to refill at 6 p.m. So hopefully by 6 p.m. you've had your full water intake for the day. It's so pretty. I feel like this bottle will make me want to drink more water and I have no problem with drinking water. I drink so much of it as it is. So this is just a perfect way to drink more water and take more hydration and look cute while doing it. So that is item number two. Item number three, Honestly, this is the most random haul in the world. I tried to get things from all different categories that I knew that I would use in my everyday life. This one being boss for me. So if you have kids, cannot recommend getting one of these fidgets to have in your diaper bag. My daughter just turned one, so this is perfect for her age. It's this cute little swan, but then on top, it's all these little fidgety things. So they have the buttons that you can press to make the sound. They have other little things that you can slide left to right. They have these pieces over here that you can pull down. They're all very textured. Over here, there's more to kind of like grab at. This is for tactile exploration, loop play, movement principle, and pull rope play. So we actually have one of these 
for our house but this is one that I wanted specifically to put into our diaper bag for whatever we go to restaurants or if we go out to people's houses whatever it may be there's just all these things you can grab loop play the one that we have in her playroom she loves she uses it all the time so I figured it would be perfect to have one on the go and perfect to have one for the house love these so so much and I also love that they have like this little loop over here that you can slip something through if you're at a restaurant to kind of attach it to the high chair so she can't just like throw it off if she throws it off you just put it right back but these are incredible we got one for Christmas and she started using it and I was like yep I'm definitely gonna need another one for the diaper bag and you can get it at Temu. Next item, I don't know who in the world <laughs> I think I am with getting this next item. Who do I think I am? I am a mom of two, a teacher, I am a homebody, I almost never leave the house unless it's going to like Target or to a restaurant or to a friend's house. I don't go to bars. I don't go clubbing. Like what even is that word? I don't do the nightlife lifestyle whatsoever anymore. But I saw this dress and I was like, I kind of want that dress. So I picked it up. It is this little bodycon black sparkly dress. I absolutely will not fit in this yet, but I am on my like workout regimen again and I'm hoping that I can fit into this very soon. It's just a little black dress and I feel like every single human needs a little black dress. It comes with like little spaghetti strap straps to put on you or you can use it more as like a tube top. It's kind of like multi-use if you will. This is a close-up of what the texture looks like and like the sparkles. Again, I don't know who in the world I think I am purchasing this dress but I feel like everybody needs a little black dress and I don't have a little black dress and now I do thanks to Temu so maybe I'll do like a little try on on Instagram stay tuned for that but I'm really excited about this I feel like it's very like 90s vibe like the short little black dress with all of the sparkles in it I feel like this sparkle look was my entire wardrobe back in high school and even middle school so I'm just kind of like bringing back the vibes with this dress speaking of clothes let's go from one extreme to the complete <laughs> and total opposite extreme this might be one of my favorite purchases from temu i'm going from who do i think i am i don't go to the club dress to teacher allison so if you guys are new here i am a teacher i teach fifth grade i've been teaching for 13 years and like tell me when you see this sweater does it remind you of anything besides miss frizzle vibes like i am going for all of the miss frizzle vibes Miss Frizzle vibes. That is a tongue twister with this sweater. Tell me you look at the sweater and you can't tell me this is a teacher sweater. Like this is the poster child of a teacher sweater with the little ducks and the little hearts and they even have apples on it. Like this is an epic teacher sweater and the quality is really nice it's one of those like knit type quality sweaters it is a cardigan so you could wear it more as like a pullover or you could wear it as a button down i am so excited for this like i will take a picture of this in my classroom obviously not when the students are there and i will show it on instagram if you guys want to follow me on there but this sweater it's the sweater of my teacher dreams thank you temu and so reasonably priced for this like knit material so reasonably priced it's so cute i'm sorry i know i just said i'm a teacher and i already used the adjective cute like a million times i have more in my vocabulary but when i see that sweater cute just comes to mind it is adorable i think the last piece of clothing that i purchased is this item right here I've never had satin pajama anything, or at least I don't think I have. And look at this cute little Valentine's Day one. So I got this little two-piece pajama set, which I feel like you could use this shirt as otherwise from pajamas. Like, it's cute for pajamas, but I feel like this shirt could be used as more as... No, it's definitely pajama. <laughs> I take that back. It's definitely pajama. But look at how cute. It has hearts all over it. And then the bottoms, which are right here, they're kind of like 
tighter flare so they definitely are former fitting but then they flare out at the bottom and you have this cute little like stripe detail right there at the bottom they're so soft i feel like i cannot wait till i can just like jump up in my bed and cozy up in these nice little satin pajamas so let me give you a close-up of the material and the little design just cute little hearts absolutely adorable and it's a nice little set to put on for valentine's day or for any day for that matter you know how I said everybody needs a little black dress? I do agree that everybody does need a little black dress, but I also feel like everybody needs a nice pair of simplistic, minimalistic white tennis shoes. This is the next item that I put in my Temu cart. Just a nice, plain pair of white tennis shoes. I think the beauty of white tennis shoes is that you can dress them up or you can dress them down. I actually purchased these for my classroom because I wear sneakers pretty much every single day. I'm on my feet all day while I am teaching. So having a nice pair of white comfortable shoes is always so important. These specifically have like that cushiony sole. So I know that these will hopefully be super comfortable while I am teaching. This is what they look like. They're very, very, very minimal, almost no design to them whatsoever, but that's exactly what I want. Something that I can dress up, dress down, or just have match pretty much all of the outfits that I plan on wearing. I personally wear tennis shoes while I'm wearing dresses, like little sundresses, all the way down to our dress down days where we can wear jeans and a t-shirt. So dress them up, dress them down, and need these in your wardrobe, or at least I know I need these in my wardrobe. The next little like fashion -y item, I feel like I'll just continue doing all like the fashion items first. Guys, I've been wanting one of these for so, so long, but they're so extremely pricey that I just could never justify purchasing them. I found these on Temu for a fraction of the price. It is one of those heatless bands to curl your hair. So it comes with the band that you put over here and then it comes with the, what is this called? Like a claw clip that you claw right up here and then you wrap your hair all around it and at the bottom you get two of these little scrunchies. So you put the scrunchie around and you sleep in it and when you wake up you're supposed to have these gorgeous, gorgeous heatless curls. I don't know if that's going to work but we are going to test it out. I might do like a little reel on this soon. So again, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and you are interested in any of the things that I'm talking about, I will leave my Instagram in the description below but I plan on testing this out I've seen so many incredible transformations using these little like heatless curl rods and I can't wait also it's leopard or cheetah whatever you want to call this which just makes it so so much more fun so stay tuned for a tutorial on Instagram I'm so pumped speaking of here I have a couple more hair items to share this one I've seen pretty much all over the internet, probably about like a year, maybe two years ago. I feel like these were super, super popular. I don't see them as much anymore, but I never personally purchased one in the past, so I was like, I wanna try this out for real. It is one of those braided headbands. So it gives the illusion that you have a braid in your hair when realistically it is just a headband. This is what it looks like up close and personal. I think this is more of like a fishtail braid and I'm hoping that I got one that is the right color matchup for my hair, even though my hair is like 16 different colors right now. Let's take a look. I can't quite tell in the viewfinder, but this is what it looks like. You can use them so many different ways. You can use them with your hair down, hair up, so many different ways. The possibilities are endless, but I mean, I kind of love it, to be quite honest with you. I feel like I need to look in the mirror. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's one of those little braided headbands. I never had one before, and I really, really wanted one. I think I'm just going to keep this in for the remainder of the video. Oh, it's very comfortable, too. It's not one of those headbands that I know after, like, an hour of wearing it, I'm going to have a terrible headache. It's very, very, like, comfortable on the head. Okay. <laughs> this next hair item is so gimmicky it is so 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 gimmicky and i know it and you know it but i follow a couple of like instagram bloggers and like influencers and they talk so so highly about this thing and i was like i just i need to try it out it is one of those head massagers so you can use this a plethora of different ways but 
apparently I don't know the science behind it it's supposed to like exfoliate the follicles on your head it's all supposed to get rid of like dandruff and dry skin and it's just supposed to help the overall growth of your hair and like your scalp I really honestly don't know the science behind it this is what it looks like I've seen so many people talk about this thing and I saw it on Temu so I was like about time to try it's just you just you put in there I've seen some influencers like put shampoo on here and they will shampoo their head with this I've seen other people use like hair serums I've seen other people just use it in the shower to kind of like release some of that dandruff or dead skin or dead whatever and just try to like get your scalp to be in its best most optimal position so you can have the best hair growth again I don't know the science behind this thing all I know is I really wanted to try it for myself so this is the next item this little doohickey that you use on your scalp in or outside of the shower I think that might be it for like hair care related items. I have this item right here. It's not really hair care. I use these pretty much daily when I am doing my makeup. So let me take this out just for now. I use these pretty much daily when I do my makeup. It is just a cute little comfortable. I'm not even in frame. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let me get down a little bit more so you can see. Again, brand new camera problems, not properly sure how to use it yet but I use these daily while I'm doing my makeup I just push all my hair back while I'm wearing one of these and then it helps to keep my hair out of my face while I'm washing my face cleansing my face and putting all my makeup on it's kind of cute though right I really like it let me take it off and show you up close it's just like a fuzzy little material the last one that I had is from the Dollar Tree and it was like bunny ears but the bunny ears just like stood up like this to the point that every time I would bend down to wash my face it would get caught so I was looking for one that just had smaller ears that wouldn't constantly like trip and hit things every time that I bend over so this is the next item just a fuzzy little headband that I can use while I am washing my face or doing my makeup Speaking of skincare routine, this next item is also a very minimal item. It is not battery operated, it is just like hand operated. It is for my skincare routine. If you guys are a subscriber of my channel and you happen to watch my 2023 Dream With Me goal setting video, I talked about one thing that I really wanted to like up my game on this year would be my skincare. I have psoriasis, I have eczema and I have rosacea. So for me, I'll never have clear skin. For me, like nice healthy skin is not clear skin because I know that's like pretty much out of the cards for me. For me, it is just clean skin. So I've been doing like a morning and night skincare routine for the past like two-ish months and I have seen a huge change in my skin but I've only just been using my hands for it so I saw this on Temu and I wanted to get it it is just like a little brush it has an exfoliation side and then it has a soft bristle side so I figured I could use this when I'm putting my cleanser on and then also use this while I'm doing my toner just to get the most out of my skincare routine they had a bunch of different colors but I just went with like the minty aqua looking blue we have an exfoliation side and then over here we have the softer bristles so I'll be washing this obviously before I use it for the first time but I can't wait to start using this on my skin care routine the most random haul in the history of the world are you guys even still here with me I'm going from like every single different category this item being a completely separate category it's a handbag I need a new handbag in the worst way ever mine is deteriorating by the second so i saw this one and it's just perfect it's like a little tiny black bag i love how it's like monochromatic with the black and the white and the gold and then they have a little spot over here that you can attach something on and then inside they're also giving you the little straps that you could do as a crossover and the strap has a nice little design on it and then they also have another little piece to put onto it that you can put in the front. It can use it so many different ways, but I was just looking for a little black bag, something very, very easy to hold onto. Just throw my phone in there, my keys, my wallet, my chapstick, and call it a day. So let me just shut this right there. Yeah, 
just a tiny little black bag. Nice and easy, nice and minimal, perfect for on the go. I typically only use my diaper bag when I go out places if I'm with my kids, but if I go out with friends or have like a little date night, I don't want to slug around a little diaper bag. So this bag is absolutely perfect for all of my going out needs. So cute, I love it. There are like eight more items left, maybe like between eight to 10 items left. I don't even know which one to pick out next. I think I'll go with these. These are the light black anti blue blocking glasses. So correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's called blue ray light that you get from screens. And these are the glasses that help to block out that harmful ray, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I got these specifically for my classroom. I kind of like those. Oh, I kind of like those a lot, actually. So with being a teacher in the 21st century, we are on the computers a decent amount. I try to limit as much as I possibly can. Students, I would say, are on the computers for maybe maybe a third of the day and that might be like overestimating it but as teachers i'm on far more than a third because whenever i'm working with a student i'm inputting data and the computer is just always there it has our lessons it has our plans it has pretty much everything and then we have the big smart board in our classroom we have a lot of technology but i try to limit the students to a about a third of the day so I did get these for my classroom and then also for when I am at home editing but this is what they look like I kind of love them I don't know if I'm ever like going to be a glasses girl but I really do like these a lot super super reasonable remember the crave of like the blue light blocking glasses like a couple of years ago i know i'm very behind the times and a lot of the stuff that i'm sharing with you today is like been there done that but don't fix something that's not broken if they still work really well definitely want a pair for myself so here are my glasses another item primarily for my classroom and another item definitely 100 percent for my classroom are these mira plus 12 gel color pens you're getting 12 of them and they are fine print so they're like that nice fine script that you can use i actually haven't tried these out yet so let's take them out i'll show you what they look like i love the colors they're such pretty pastel colors so whenever i teach the core in my classroom I'll use the Elmo and I'll write all of the notes down in my notebook and then the Elmo will transfer it onto the smart board so the students will see it on the smart board. So whatever I write, they typically have to write in their notebooks as well, especially if it is really, really important. So whenever I am doing notes in the classroom, I try to use nice colorful pens just to make it like a little bit more fun. I'll draw like pictures and graphics to go along with it just to make it a little bit more fun for the students let's try these out i haven't tested these yet so first impression oh they're definitely like fine tip oh and they write very very nice all right let's try a couple more and then i will show you what it looks like they're very pretty i can't wait to use these in my classroom my students get all excited when i use new pens as well i know that's super dorky of me to say but i feel like it does make it more exciting than just using black or blue and when i grade i never use red pen i feel like red pen is just so evil so i always try to use like oranges or pinks or like purples when i am grading so here's just one two three four five different examples of the way that the pens write let's see if that will focus i know that the light is like kind of blocking it out but really, really nice, fine tip and perfect colors to just make my classroom a little more fun. Highly, highly recommend. Okay, let's move on to these two items. The excitement level <laughs> that I have for these two items right here is next level. I'm like unhinged at how excited I am for these two items. They are little mugs. For espresso to make cute little lattes but they're not just run-of-the-mill mugs oh no they are double glass double wall glass mugs for espresso but that's not all <laughs> they are cute little bears like are you kidding me look at this 
I know that my ring light is just not doing the Lord's work right now, but look at that. When you pour it in, you get a little beer. So I got this tan version, and then I also got just the plain glass version. Same exact concept when you pour in your coffee, or you don't even have to use these for coffee. You could use this for just like pretty much anything, juice, milk, water. It outlines the little beer. It's just so much fun if you use it for coffee, because obviously coffee is brown, and when you pour it in, it looks like a little bear. My espresso game just went like from a level two to a level 10. I have been looking forward to these for so long and they finally arrived at my doorstep and <laughs> clink, cheers to all. Okay, speaking of kitchen items, I have a bunch of kitchen items to share with you. Let's get all of this out of there. This one is more like a mommy hack slash mommy win. These are the Pro Kitchen Pocket Maker Decrusts cuts and seal. So if you're familiar with Uncrustables, they're just like little peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can buy them at the market and they don't have the crust on them. I'm sure you guys know what Uncrustables are. This is just a fun way to make your own Uncrustables at home. The thing that I have an issue with with Uncrustables is A, they're wildly expensive and B, they don't have any that aren't like peanut butter based. My son's preschool and my daughter's daycare, they're not allowed to have peanut because of allergies. So they don't make them with sun butter. So we have them in our house for like when we are traveling or just on the go. But I wanna make a bunch of them with sun butter and freeze them. And the best thing is like you don't waste any of the extra pieces of toast, bread, what's the word? I'm like running out of brain power right now. You just like put it into like a little Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer, and then you can use it for like a French toast casserole. But you're getting three different sizes, the typical circular one, a triangular one, and a square one. So let me open this up and show you what I am talking about. I cannot wait to use these. I am constantly making sandwiches every single day for my son. So you just get all of these pieces over here. Let me take it apart so I can show you. And you basically just use these three pieces to make the sandwich. So you put this part in, and then this part has the ridge, and then this part you put together. And once you put all of the pieces in order, which I'm not 100% familiar with how to use this yet, it makes the Uncrustable. A DIY homemade Uncrustable. What? is better than that. Nothing, I tell you. My bank account just went bink ever since I bought this because Uncrustables are so expensive. They are so expensive. I love them, but they are so expensive. Okay, the next kitchen item is just a little ladle. It matches our kitchen perfectly, but what I liked about this ladle was that it was dual functioning. It is a little ladle that has the opening over here if you're trying to strain things out. But then on this side, there's no little holes to strain out. So you could use this as a ladle to pour soup in. Or if you're making like vegetables, which we do every single night, we make frozen vegetables for our kids. And then we're constantly like straining it out here and there. You can just scoop it and pour the water out. So this is the little ladle. They had a ton of different colors. I feel like this beigey one matched our kitchen the most. And then also has a little spout if you're trying to pour something precisely into like a jar or something or a cup, whatever it may be. So this is my next little kitchen item. I love it and it has a cute little speckle look to it. It's gonna be really, really pretty in our kitchen. This item is a dupe. So this is the Beast Kip, Beast Kipe, whatever it is called. It is the America's Favorite Sponge. It is a dupe for that sponge, I think it's called, oh God, I don't even remember what it is called. It's that sponge that was on like Shark Tank and then it blew up. Also love those so much, but they're also quite expensive. So I found this dupe set of two on Temu, has like the little smiley face on it as well. And these are like anti-molding sponges. They work so, so well. And you basically just wet it, do what you have to do, and then you leave it out and by the next morning, it is completely dry again. It doesn't like hold on to all that bacteria and all the water so it doesn't get moldy. So pack of two on Temu. Also a fraction of the price because it is a dupe. I have one more kitchen item and then two kid items. If you know 
tell me about it all. You're like, probably like Allison, this is so weird. So I hated coffee for a majority of my life. Just a quick little story. I hated coffee for a majority of my life. And then I got pregnant with my second child and it became one of my cravings. Like if you knew past Allison, the smell of coffee, the look of coffee, just I hated everything about coffee. And then got the weirdest craving of my life from my second pregnancy. And I started craving coffee and I just fell in love with it. And then even after I had my baby, I still to this day, am just like obsessed with coffee now. It's the strangest thing. Also, my husband is Asian. He's 100% Chinese and my aversion when I had Ellie, it was Chinese food. Like I couldn't even look at Chinese food. We laugh about it all the time. He's like, babe, why you gotta do that to me? So I just could not look at Chinese food, couldn't smell Chinese food, couldn't do anything in the realm of Chinese food, but coffee. I was all about coffee. So I started going to this place in Providence, Ceremony, I believe it is called, if you are local and you are watching this video. And they had these cute little frozen coffee beers on top of their lattes and I wanted to make them for myself. So right over here is a cute little mold and I plan on putting the coffee in here and making like little coffee ice cubes to top my lattes with because that is what makes me happy, all right? cute little coffees, making them, becoming my own little personal barista. It is what makes me happy. And I saw this on Temu and I was like, this is going to make me so happy. So I ended up putting this one into my cart as well. But it's just this really nice silicone. You can see right over there, it's a silicone mold. And then you obviously don't have to use this for coffee. You could use this with, jade, with juice or just like regular water ice cubes. You can use this so many different ways, but I plan on using it for coffee and I'm really really excited okay I have two more items left they are definitely geared more towards kids slash kids at heart this next item this is an item that is geared towards kids but again definitely for the kids at heart we have one of these in our playroom and my husband and I play it daily whenever the kids are kind of like playing independently my husband and I will take this out of the little cubby that we have it in and throw it over and just start trying to create this puzzle this is a little tangram tetris puzzle so it's just like a wooden pad and has all of these wooden tetris pieces and you basically just have to figure out a way to put all the pieces together so that there are no blank spaces and nothing overlapping and it just fits nice and perfectly this is not easy <laughs> let me tell you there's so many different ways to do it but it is not easy i will constantly tell my kids like mommy's gonna tease her brain and i'll like drop all the pieces out and on the rare occasions that i do it on the first shot we all celebrate but usually it takes like four or five times to get this complete so this is what it looks like like i said i already have one in our playroom for our kids this isn't for us actually this is for my classroom i teach again fifth grade and i feel like fifth graders are absolute perfect ages to play around with this. It's a great way to kind of make them strategize and think strategically. So you can use this as a puzzle, but on the back you can do all sorts of different like tan gram puzzles, but I definitely want to just use it as the puzzle. I'm interested to bring this into my classroom tomorrow and see which students can complete this at their station. So this is the second to last item in this haul. The final item, perfect timing because it's getting dark out. I think I need batteries for this and I unfortunately don't have batteries right now so I can't full show you like the full scope of this but I'm sure you've seen these all over the internet my sister has one of these and my kids fell in love with it so I wanted to get one for us as well it is this little talking cactus it's so strange but my kids loved it so much so you just basically press a button and then the cactus dances but that's not the only thing that you can do. You can press this button right here and basically talk to it and it will like talk back to you. I hope that this model does that. I'm not 100% sure and unfortunately, like I said, we don't have any batteries lying around, but it definitely dances and like moves and grooves and it's so funny. It kind of just does like this little motion and my kids loved it. So I figured I would get this for my kids, but also for family entertainment so that is it that is everything in my super random temu haul 
are you guys still with me? I know that this was like a very long video. I feel like I talk to a lot of you who comment and you're always requesting like longer videos. So I got you. This one is definitely a long one. But yeah, that is everything in my Temu haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was my first Temu haul, but absolutely not my last. I had so, so much fun shopping on their website and I hope that you guys enjoy shopping on their website as well. If you do check them out, make sure to check out the code in the link in the description because it could save you 30% off of your purchase for new users. So thank you so much to Temu for working with me on today's video and thank you so much to all of you guys for being here and for supporting me. I would love to know in the comments what your favorite item that I got was. I feel like I really don't have a favorite but I feel like these two items now that I'm just looking over here are probably two of my favorite because of my coffee obsession. So thank you all so so much again from the bottom of my heart for being here and for supporting me here on YouTube. I love you all to the moon and back. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye friends.